My name is Larry Lucchino and I'm a cancer survivor. I had been uh, uh, suffering from a nagging cough that had gone on for some time. I was working hard and tended to ignore it. In fact, I remember taking a motorcycle trip uh, uh, in late summer. I coughed most of the way on that trip. So I went to get a chest x-ray, called my doctor who uh, seemed uh, very, very, very troubled by the results of the chest x-ray. I had decided I wanted to come up to uh, Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, even though it was in Boston and I was in Baltimore and Washington at the time, and I had a number of alternatives. There was more than one occasion when I said, Dee, did I make the right decision? And of course, in retrospect, I couldn't have made a better decision. You know when you go there that you're going to get the best possible treatment. Um, the doctors that I met and the nurses that I met in my first visits up there were equally impressive to me. My whole baseball career, really, with Camden Yards and the, uh, and the Orioles and the San Diego Padres and Petco Park and the Boston Red Sox and Fenway Park, my whole career really is post-cancer. So I, would, I call that to people's attention because there is uh, a lot of life to be lived and a lot of things to be accomplished after a cancer diagnosis if you're treated the right time in the right way by the right people. Once you're part of the, uh, of the family, you feel a sense of continuing duty or obligation to help, and uh, you, you try to contribute as much as you can. I'm now the chairman of the Jimmy Fund, and it's, a, uh, it's, it's both a duty and a privilege. My name is Larry Lucchino, and I am alive uh, today, 32 years after my diagnosis, because of the talent, uh, the people, the commitment, the reliability, the caring of the folks at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the Jimmy Fund, and I will spend uh, the rest of my days trying to repay that uh, obligation.